Hello and a warm welcome to another operating video how to use the management setup. In this video we are concentrating on the playback mode. Playback mode is a nice and fantastic mode of the management center and we have different entry points. On the lower left corner we have the playback symbol we can enter to the playback mode or we're choosing a camera getting the on-screen dialog of the playback and press on the playback symbol there to entering the playback mode or if the camera has produced already some alarm signs the management center has started then the alarm button will show the number of alarms and by clicking on that alarm button we get to the alarm pre-selection slider and over that slider by pressing again we can switch to the playback but now in this case we're using the left playback symbol to entering the playback symbol as you can see you can move the date and time field at any position inside the image and to select here a specific date and time you can changing date and time in there and this field also display how is the recording what a playback mode in this case we have an sd card playback if the instead of the camera symbol will showing um, the file server symbol then it shows as direct file server access which is the fastest access for playback with the management center but in this case we're using direct playback from the camera via sd card and here is the buttons we can choosing fast forward fast backward by right mouse click on it we can selecting the the playback speed if we concentrating to the chalk wheel in the center this is a nice symbol and needs some explanation how to use that in the best case and here is the best example click on it keep the mouse button pressed until you're operating with the chalk wheel move the mouse a little bit to the left side then you're adjusting the chalk wheel to play back in the selected speed and if you adjust the mouse a little bit to left or right you define the playback speed or even the direction of the playback if you're moving a little bit more to the right side you can stop the playback or you um, get the playback in the forward direction so this is a very nice functionality to control your playback and if you release the button the mouse button the playback will stop so um, that you will see during that video several times this button here is for step-by-step -step playback um, here currently there is no object in the video so let us search with the chalk wheel to an expected event where we can demonstrate a step-by-step -step playback function more as with an empty video where there's no events. So as you can see, we make now step-by-step -step backward and in the right upper corner of the image, there is a car appearing. It's too small. Then let us use the zoom functionality of the management center and then we can see more details of the car and demonstrating then the step-by-step -step button. Zoom out again and let step-by-step -step the car getting closer to us. With that button we can define the playback mode. Currently it's the event recording and the entire recordings are displayed. We can also choosing event manage images to say show me only the images where the event was triggered. That is a fast way to analyze a, a large amount of footage to really concentrating only of the events which are important. In this case, let us say when an object, a person, a car gets in front of my garage, then I am interested in what's going on. And then I will make a deeper investigation with the playback. Um, if you click again on it, it will changing to the entire recording mode again. And then from that selected event we can make a deeper research of it. The selector allows here many more uh, different playback modes beside the event image or the entire recordings also for time lapse to get really a step-by-step -step overview by day search, hour search, 10 minute search and so on. If we go to the export range here in the export we have different options to export via Mobotics MSG format or any um, RV or RH264 format. 
the MXG format is under Mobotics. Select in Mobotics, it's starting automatically in MXG format to export. If we want to change some settings in the export profile, we need to go to the arrow on the side on each profile. If we selecting directly Mobotics, the next step is the dialog to define the export range. And after we have defined the export range, what we like to export and press OK, then the export process will be started. Um, you need to define the name of the exported file. As I mentioned, this is a Mobotics export, it's then the format .mxg. I define it here, uh, mxmc, whatever uh, name workshop here, to have here an overview what I did. And then the next um, dialog or the user can measure if the export is started is on the progress bar on the upper field. Clicking on that, then we see also how far is the progress. And during the export is in progress, we can do further things with the management center, like the snapshot of the recorded image, what we see currently on the screen. With the date and time slider, we can also navigate in the recordings by using that calendar symbol, jump into a specific date and time, and then the management center takes a look, is there an exact date and time, is there an event behind, or jump to the closest event, what we want to see from the timeline. Um, we also can start from that point, and we can also make a zoom in the, in the playback, as I have shown before, and we can select with the flex on the left side, the starting point of an exporting range, and then using, for example, the, ex the export uh, not export the, the calendar symbol to slide to another date and time and set then the right um, leg to define the end of the range what we like to export. This is another way of selecting the export range using this flex. It's a little bit specific, yeah. but after we have selected that, then we can press also on the export button and selecting the format what we like to export. And you see here the difference, it will be shown here that the export range is already flagged um, and it's showing the range. And then we can choose him, for example, Mobotics, and then it's getting the same story as before. We need to define a name for the exported file. This is again MXG format. And if we press then save, it's will starting and showing that in the progress bar. I cancel that because it's the same behavior and it's only a different way how to selecting the export range. Um, you can click on one of the flags with a right mouse click and have additional context menu and delete that. Uh, by default, if you're pressing directly Mobotics, it's open or any format, it's open the export range dialog yeah, where you can select it. Now, during I've explained that the export of the initial export, it's done. And you see on the left hand side on, on the clips and recordings, there is already that clip. So you can play back that clip directly in the MXG format. And here we're coming to an advantage of the MXG format. If we want to re-export only a snapshot and a specific area of that already exported video, we can using the flex. And then we can say, okay, only that two minutes, yeah. We can export probably that again in MXG, or we can choosing an RV format. And if we have installed the starter license of the management center, then we can also export that in H.264 formats like uh, MKV, MKV or MP4. Yeah? If we're selecting here the mobile or the PC or choosing the custom, where you can set with the arrow context menu additional settings what should be uh, considered in the export profile and now we're choosing mp4 or RV format yeah RV it's limited to mjpeg and mp4 and mkv are uh, using the h264 format which allows you a much more compromised export file but as i mentioned you need the starter licenses to double check which license you have installed you would go to the um, menu bar and select licenses in the help uh, folder and then you see there's the MXMC starter license integration already installed on my PC and that shows and allows me the H.264 codec. 
It's the same procedure, selecting then mobile and it's a progress bar. And then if we double click also on the progress bar, we see the progress is done. And then by clicking on it, then we can also um, get more details if there was an error or something like that, or going here with that button, it's opened the direct folder where it's be stored that it's on my second screen or in the background. I take that screen now which was open after I've pressed the button. You see here is the exported file, make a double click on it and it's then it starts the VLC format and then you can play back also an MQV file um, which was exported before from the management center. Let us close that, switch back to the full screen of the management center that we can progress with our workshop. As I mentioned before, here you can choose different resolutions. Yeah, I've made now the export with 240 pixels, but you can choose also higher resolutions. If you want to define your customized format, that's also possible. The same settings as before with the mobile and PC, but you can customize it. And then you have three um, non-MXG export profiles, what you can select directly with a click. And if we come to a camera and jumping from the camera to the playback mode. Then we are directly on that selected camera in the playback mode. And there we have also the export bar. And by pressing a plus in that export bar, that means take the video from the shown camera and taking 10 seconds before and after and put that in the export list for a later exported. You can choose also then another camera and say, okay, I want to export this event. Yeah? And now we have a new option in the export dialog. If you're choosing, for example, export mobotics, then it shows, do you want to export the export list or the market range? In this case, we have the export list. And if we're exporting um, the export list, it will creating one clip of both videos. So this is a combination if you want to show to any external authority, police or whatever, uh, how was the situation yeah, uh, where a person intruder get through different cameras and then this is the perfect way to using export list to creating one clip and that shows then historically what was going on on your property. I hope you enjoyed that video and shows here the playback possibilities and also the different export options and I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Bye.